morning. Today I'm going to show you how to carry up your yarn on the side of your work in a nice tidy way. I just learned this and I used it recently on my pink pop shawl. So I'm going to show it to you as well. Now when you usually carry up yarn along the side of your work, you can see it. So here in the first half of my swatch, you can see I'm going from green to white and green to white, but then you can see the yarn that I'm carrying along at the edge of the fabric. And it doesn't take much to see it, like you just turn it slightly and there it is. But this new way, you have to actually turn the fabric all the way over before you can see the carried yarn on the back. So this new way of carrying the yarn has two advantages. One is it's tucked in the back where it's harder to see. And then the second one is it's stretchier. So the old way can be get tight if you're trying to stretch it this way, but the new way is very stretchy, just like the rest of your work. So let me show you how to do this. It's very simple and I'm sure you will like it as much as I do. To start, you begin your next color the same way you normally do. So you bring it up from the bottom, work your first stitch, and then right here is the difference. Before you knit your next stitch, bring the old yarn back over the working yarn like that and then finish your row okay again so i've just finished the green two rows of the green and i'm going to draw up the next color from underneath like normal i'm going to snug it up a little bit I'm going to knit it, but then before I do the second stitch, I'm going to bring the green yarn back over the working yarn and then finish my row. Okay, so I finished the white row, two rows of the white. Now I'm going to come back to the green. Start it like normal, pulling it up from underneath, knit the first stitch, and then bring the white yarn back over the green yarn and knit the next stitch. So on the back side, till you pull it, till you snug it up and pull it tight, this is what it looks like. Then you snug it up. That's what it looks like. So down here at the bottom is where you normally do it on the edge. And then starting right here is where it's actually in a stitch. Now you could also do it on the second stitch. So if for example, you thought that this was still too visible, you could knit the first two stitches and then cross it on the second stitch. And then it would be even further on the back side. For my purposes, on one stitch, it was sufficient. And I'm really liking this technique. I learned this from Frank Jernigan, who is also known as Franco. And I'll put a link to the video where he just demonstrates this technique. So you can watch that as well. I hope this was helpful to you. And have a great day.